All right, afternoon, guys. Hey, Dave. What's going on? Yeah, the electrical system's looking pretty good. Yeah, just trying to tighten a little bit of wire right now. We've got a lot of mileage out of that Hyattsville rendering. My name is David Tilley. I'm an associate professor of environmental science and technology at the University of Maryland in College Park. Uh, I'm also the CEO and co-founder of Living Canopies, which is a startup that came out of my research in my lab at the university. So Keegan, how is the water pump working these days? We're just going to connect this to the box over here and then it should be working. It's going to work with those fuses? Mm -hmm. yeah. well, Living Canopies wouldn't exist without all the student interns that I've had work for me over the last several years. I think the last count I've had about 20 students usually work through the summer or through the semester. So right now we have a small group of about five students uh, and some have just graduated. Uh, in architecture, landscape architecture, environmental science and technology, as well as uh, engineering. What's going to happen with the controller there, Kyle? We're going to connect this up to the uh, fuse box in there, and then this should be able to charge the battery with the solar panel. I try to infect as many of the students as I can with entrepreneurship, and they're really seeing that as a way to scale technologies and to have you know, good impact across the world and across the state and across the region because it gives you this opportunity to take an idea and to really turn it into something that's very large and can affect and improve the lives of a lot of people. Deep down, our inspiration for all of our living technologies is to make people love nature. This is the living umbrella, so this was our first invention. So the green umbrella is really, it's your patio umbrella, but instead of having the plastic nylon canopy that you typically have on top of them that protects you from the sun and the rain, Remove that and it has just a canopy of live plants, typically use very uh, flowering plants like mandevilla. It has its own solar powered irrigation system so you can keep the plants healthy and alive. And then it provides this really kind of wow factor for restaurants and hotels that want to uh, impress their customers. Uh, it also makes for a much more comfortable space uh, and it can provide habitat if that's something you want to do as well. This is a green wall that I installed with my students several years ago. It protects the building from, from heat and it provides habitat for birds and pollinators. So if you ever walk by a brick building, it's very hot because it's like 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So the vegetation of the plants protect the, uh, the brick from getting so hot. So they, they act as a cooling factor and they actually can reduce the temperature even of the micro environment that's around the wall. So maybe it's 90 degrees outside in the air temperature, but just close to the, the plants themselves, it might only be 85 degrees because the plants have the ability to use water. And when they use the water, they're basically acting like little misters. And that misting action reduces the temperature of the air in that immediate environment. So this is the uh, prototype of the cool green shelter for bus stops. So what we have is a, a typical bus shelter in, in form, but what we've done is turned it into a green roof. So you have four feet by 10 feet of green roof that's planted with living live plants. And then on the ends of the, uh, of the roof, you have our living canopies that extend out about three or four feet. So you get some extra shade from the, the plants. And then in the back side of the bus shelter, you have the solar panels. So we have 300 watts of solar panels those panels provide enough power to, to light the, the bus stop at night, as well as provide power to charge a phone or your personal device. And then we also have an advertising or what we call an environmental sponsorship panel that's available for corporations and foundations to, to sponsor bus shelters that are uh, needed in certain types of communities. Okay, a key feature of, the pos of making this work is our technology that allows us to capture rainwater that falls on the green roof and the solar panels. That water is directed down through the leg of the bus shelter and then stored in a water cistern or rain barrel that sits underneath the seat. And then we have an electronic and control systems. It's a smart control system, meaning that it knows how much water is in the, uh, the soil itself. So when the soil dries out, the device knows to turn the pump on and to irrigate or water the, uh, the plants. So someone sitting under a vegetated, planted canopy is going to feel quite a bit cooler, maybe 10 degrees cooler than they would if they were just sitting under a regular uh, bus shelter that's made of a hard metal surface. So we see there's a lot of potential. Just in the United States, there are 500,000 bus stops, but there's only 100,000 bus shelters. So what's really important for a green roof 
is for the soil to be lightweight. So this is an engineered soil. It's actually shale, rock. It's crushed up and then it's cooked at 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And when that happens, it expands. And when it expands, it becomes less dense. So therefore it's lighter weight. So when you have this up on top of the shelter, it's not as heavy and it acts really well as a good drainage medium and growing medium for the plants. So we want people to really think about nature and how it can provide benefit to them in a lot of different ways and make their lives better, healthier, and have a, a more prosperous future.